governor has declared a state of emergency here. At least two people were killed here in Ruston, a mother and son. And the EF3 tornado that tore through here was packing winds of at least 136 miles an hour, tearing the entire this roof morning, the off this coffee underway. shop. After violent storms sliced through the, the tornado south. ripped through Ruston, Louisiana, with winds over 136 miles per hour. Across the south, at least five people were killed. Here in Louisiana, the National Weather Service has confirmed at least eight tornadoes, most of them along a path of destruction. Destructive tornadoes. Town, Texas, Louisiana, Texas, 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 We're still assessing damage in multiple parishes. Governor, on an aerial tour of Hard Heat Ruston, confirmed there was a powerful EF3 tornado that spun through the town. Some of the worst devastation that we're seeing to be concentrated on the ground, homes to follow, power lines and trees. Kendra Butler and her 14-year-old son Remington were killed. They did what they were supposed to do. Work every day to try to make this a special for us. And then you see it um, get torn apart. Seeing this place be destroyed, like, it shouldn't be like this, so we're going to bring it back to how it was. city of Ruston, I just want to say thank you. It is incredible what you have already done for our city. I say it all the time that you bring so much energy to our city and through this storm we see exactly what you can do. And I just want to say thank you. There's not a university in the country that would have this many people show up for an event this quick. From the bottom of my heart, I say thank you and thank God that it was not any worse than it was. Thank you all so very much. The next morning, Dad walked out. My mom reports to me that he says, how are we going to clean all this up? And by 7.30, people just started showing up. go anywhere without seeing somebody walking around with a chainsaw or a rake or a limb behind them going to who knows where this community is beautiful and and all the way through from the from the children to the elderly that are driving around handing out waters people are doing anything they can to help if they can't lend a hand physically they're donating tools and supplies for other people really proud to be a part of the wrestling community Ruston has helped us when we first moved here about four years ago, and they've been so good to us and so nice to us, so we just want to give back to the community and help others, because if it was us, we would want others to be the same. It's remarkable the way 
way that the people have helped here, I am just astounded. For me, it was, I felt like it was my reasonable service to give that I had no damage. That it's only right that I come and serve those who are damaged, you know, in any way. So it was an awesome opportunity. It's, it's been like phenomenal. And we've made new friends. Yes, yes. <laughs> Everyone's support and everyone's help and outpouring of love and just everybody coming together in this devastating time and it's just been unbelievable. This is a very good, strong community that love people. They come together in bad times, in good times. Can you ask they just come. I'm Clayton Klein. I'm here with Thomas Tees and Rustin. We're selling these Rustin Strong T-shirts. Selling for twenty dollars a piece. You can get them in the front of our store here in Thomas Tees and Rustin. We'll try and keep supplies up as we can. We're selling out pretty quick. You can also go to our Facebook page and click the link and purchase online. We are offering shipping for those of you who are not in town. You can also go to Rustin.org and donate directly any amount you want to donate. We couldn't say thank you enough. We've had a great turnout so far. We have raised over thirty thousand dollars in two days, with our end goal being a hundred thousand dollars. This tornado hit us hard, and it might have knocked us back just a little bit but we are rushing strong and we're ready to fight back.